This week on the JMC Network Newscast. First, behind the scenes of the Frauder Sedalis Haunted Island construction process. Then, all the 2014 Jam Fest highlights. And finally, ACU's first ever homecoming dance. Welcome to the JMC Network Newscast. I'm Laura Benson. Well, it's that eerie time of year again, and the men of Frauder Sedalis are constructing their annual Haunted Island dating back to 1982. This year, children under the age of eight will not be permitted admission to the Haunted Island due to the level of terror that is being incorporated into this production. Take a look at all the behind the scenes that went into building this spooky creation. Officially, we started about a month ago, but there's been certain projects like doing these bridges and redoing, like landscaping the majority of the islands. That was something that we started way before a month because this place is not mowed for like a year. Then we do room design. We kind of just like sit down and brainstorm like, all right, we're going to do like the execution room. We're going to do a banjo room, chainsaw room, do room assignments. And then uh, we always assign like one leader for each room. So they generally have a budget for what they can do. We sat down as an officer team and with our advisors and we were wondering like, what could we do to like make the experience a lot more fun. And last year we had like really young kids go through and um, it was not fun for them. I, it was, it's not even fun for us, honestly, to scare little kids. We added a, a few more rooms this year that a lot, a little bit more intense. I mean, just be prepared. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun time. Buckle up. Buckle up. Well, the island will be in operation from the 23rd through the 25th and the 29th through the 31st of October at 401 North Loop 322. Admission is $10 per person. Well, Jamfest, ACU's biggest on-campus musical concert, was moved indoors to Moody Coliseum due to weather conditions. However, no amount of rain could put a damper on this year's Jamfest performances. Roll it. I think it's awesome to promote like musical like talent at ACU and I think it's great to have it at homecoming too so everyone can come and see it. I had a late start and so a lot of people came. Usually no one's there when you first start so I was a little frustrated with it but then like a whole bunch of people came. It's really fun. It's just a good time to see old people and young guy and come in. Yeah. This set is kind of new, uh, but I've been uh, I've had the band since like my freshman year of high school, so like six years. It sounded pretty good I, from where I was. It was a lot of fun. The Black Students Association and Wildcat Rain teamed up to celebrate ACU Homecoming with the first ever ACU Homecoming dance themed All White Masquerade. Take a look. Um, honestly, um, Wildcat Rain, I know that um, they were looking to increase their um, student interaction um, on campus and their student involvement, while BSA was looking to um, bridge the gap in between the university and, and the organization as a whole. And myself as the BSA president and Brian Mayer as the president of Wildcat Rain got together seeing as I am his RA and we just kind of hashed it out and decided that it would be awesome. The inspiration for this homecoming dance was that the Black Students Association really just wanted to have a place after homecoming where people could come and hang out and kind of see the faces behind BSA. Uh, it's really fun. I come to ACU, I didn't know like if they're going to have any dances and I love dancing. Like this is really fun. So I'm glad that they have this and it's a good opportunity to have to get a whole group of people that might not know each other and let them all let loose, especially in this homecoming. Well, for more stories and breaking news, go to acuoptimist.com and like our Facebook page, The Optimist, for the fastest way to keep up with all the latest breaking news at ACU. As always, thanks for watching the JMT Network Newscast. I'm Laura Benson. Have a fabulous week.